Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since my last update. Garage Mahal is pretty much all buttoned up. Some, some odds and ends need to be taken care of, but by and large, it's, it's all where it needs to be. Um, as you can see, there is no more jet ski. Uh, we had to make room for the next adventure craft, which I'm very excited about. will be delivered later this month. But anyways, I thought I'd take you on a little tour, show you what I did to solve some of the problems that I had in gear storage um, and some things that I created to come up uh, for some in interesting problems. Um, in any event, we'll start over here on the kayak wall. So this is my kayak wall. It's got pretty much all my kayaking gear on it. The boats themselves, paddles, PFDs. The boats are held by some J cradles made by a company called Suspense. They screw directly into the studs and I've not had any problems with them. They're padded and they, uh, they don't leave any marks on the boats. Uh, I just use some lag nuts to, to go directly you know, into the stud. They don't move or anything. So, I'm, I'm very happy with them. They, they come with a strap you can strap around if you wanted to mount your, mount your boat outside. And, uh, but I'm not worried about that in here. The paddles um, and, and all this other stuff is mounted using Rubbermaid Fast Track. I got from Home Depot or Lowe's. Um, the paddles are being held up by the utility hooks made by you know Rubbermaid fast track system and the rest of these things over here are mounted on <clears throat> some utility hooks fast track utility hooks that I cut and glued hangers to um, I just like having it on, you know, I like having it displayed like this rather than, I don't want to put stuff in boxes, um, you know, especially packs. If you're out hiking, they can get wet. Same obviously with PFDs. It's somewhere where things can dry out and air out and it's all said and done. Uh, the cool thing about it is, is that it's, it's expandable. So, you know, if I wanted to add another thing over here, I could just slide this lock it into place and there it is put something else in here but um i've been uh, i've really i've really liked this system up above here i have a wall shelf made by new age this is their eight foot by two foot uh and it just kind of holds some random things i have a Pelican case, small wet dry vac, and some craftsman totes uh, that are empty right now. I just have them up there in case I need some additional storage. The back wall of my garage is pretty much just cabinetry. These are made by New Age. This is their Bold Series 3.0. Uh, I really, really like these things. If you can find a stud in the wall, you can install these. When it comes to garage cabinets, these are pretty affordable and I think they just look great. I really like these things. Over in this locker, I keep all my camping stuff that needs to stay lofted up. So sleeping bags, under quilts, stuff like that. Uh, and on the, on the bottom, I have my hiking shoes, cycling shoes. But I don't like to take any camping gear inside in the event that there's ticks or anything on them. I don't want my partner to get a tick or our cat to get any bugs. So all my camping gear I try to leave in the garage, which is why I made Garage Mahal. Um, in, this, in this little cabinet, I just keep all my chemicals, car detailing stuff, things like that, windshield washer fluid. I just, 
you're always supposed to keep chemicals up out of the way of reaching kids. Not that we have kids, but I don't know. I guess that's just how it ended up being the, the chemical cabinet. And this is my pantry, my backpacking or my camping pantry. I keep all dehydrated meals up there. Um, dehydrated foods from grocery stores, my camping, um, seasonings, stuff like that. That all goes up there. That way it all has its special place and doesn't have to take up room in our pantry. And then in this locker is my camping gear. Stuff on the bottom is stuff that we don't, I don't really use all that often. Um, it's mostly for when me and my partner go camping. So like a full size tent, we have a uh, backpacking queen size air mattress made by REI. It's actually really comfortable and super light and it for a queen size air mattress packs down really small. And then the rest of my camping gear. This is kitchen stuff, miscellaneous stuff. This is gear that I take on every trip or on these two shelves. So it's all easy for me to find when it comes time to go camping. I picked the stainless steel um, countertop instead of the bamboo for no reason other than I just didn't want bamboo. And my over here, I have a, a Milwaukee tool chest and it came with this foam pad that I think you're supposed to stand on. Um, but I like to have it up here. It fit really well and uh, it protects the, the stainless steel from getting dented. So, you know, like I have a impeller from the jet ski that I'd want to hang up on the wall somewhere. I have it, you know, just sitting here. I don't have to worry about denting the countertop. And a small TV connect, you know, it's connected to our Wi-Fi smart TV, so I can watch Amazon or Netflix. But mostly, um, if I'm putzing around in the garage, I like to be able to pull up YouTube videos. Uh, if I'm doing what, you know, following the tutorial, that way I don't have to follow along on my phone. Um, and then another new age eight by two shelf up top here. This one though is uh, connected to studs in the ceiling. So whatever those are called joists. This is the tool corner. Not that I have a ton of tools, uh, but what I do have is over here. As you can see, my power tools are Ryobi. I really dig them. Uh, first of all, they're pretty cheap, but they're not like Harbor Freight cheap. Um, and their 18 volt batteries never change. So even if the batteries that I have lose their charge, I can get new batteries, uh, 18 volt batteries, and they'll still be good in these tools as long as the tool is good. I have those mounted on a metal wall control pegboard. Um, I really dig it. I like that it has shelves. The hooks stay in pretty solidly. So when I take a tool out, I don't have to worry about a hook coming out. And eventually I'd like to get a magnet, magnetic strip. I got one the other day, but it wasn't magnetic on both sides. But I'd like to be able to you know, put sawzall blades up there, jigsaw blades, whatever, multi-tool stuff. And then my toolbox. It's not, this isn't a toolbox tour, but you know, it's a pretty standard toolbox. Up top here, I keep all my chargers for various things. My, my tools, my, you know, the power tools and my lawnmower. Um, and then the rest of the box is pretty standard. You know, I have my sockets and wrenches all arranged in a nice, pretty fashion. Over here, I have an extension cord reel. This is uh, made by Revzilla. I was going to get the same Goodyear one to match, but this one was 50 feet and the Goodyear one was only 40 feet. So 
both of these reels, this Revzilla extension cord reel and this Goodyear air hose reel. Love them both. They're, they're both great. Um, and uh, this air, oh, air hose reel goes down to a Cobalt Quiet Tech 26 gallon compressor. It's quite quiet. Um, it's not silent, but I can have a normal conversation with somebody while it's, um, w when the compressor is on. But I don't use it for much. Uh, pretty much when I was building this garage, I had some cans of compressed air and I was able to like clean things off with. And I was like, man, this is really nice just to be able to like use some compressed air. So really, I don't plan on getting any tools. This is just meant to clean stuff off and maybe to inflate tires, which uh, I understand is kind of weird to most people to get a compressor just to be able to clean stuff off. But whatever power tools I would really need to do the things I like are all just wireless. Last but not least is my outdoor tool wall, uh, with the exception of my bicycle. Um, I like to keep all my outdoor stuff close to the garage door so that I'm not tracking grass clippings or mulch or anything like that all the way across the garage. Um, and that way I can just hose them off right outside if I need to let them dry or use the compressor. I use the compressor on the lawnmower. Um, so again, this is, you know, pretty unremarkable. I just have some Rubbermaid fast tracks. I really like these, like these things. So, you know, my hose, shovels, rakes. This is a, a work light and my tool belt and a ladder. All very simple stuff, but again, I keep them out there. They're close to the garage door so that garbage doesn't get brought in. So that's about it. Uh, again, the garage is pretty much all well and, and taken care of. The one thing that I have to do here is hang up lights. And I have 14 four foot LED strips made by Barina. Um, I got them off of Amazon, um, but it's just way too hot in the attic for me to be up there running wires because I want the wires to be hidden. Um, so, I'm going to play around with them a little bit, see if I can make the wires longer. They come with four foot strands, um, but I'd like to see if I could splice them, make them longer. But I know LEDs can be finicky with that kind of thing. So that's about it. Um, I, hope, I hope you guys kind of enjoyed that. The main thing with me in this garage is I like to keep things up and off the floor. Uh, I paid good money for the tiles and I like to see each and every one of them. But it also, it's really nice to have everything in its place, everything nice and clean. Um, for me, you know, I'm out here, I like to putz around, you know, whether it's, you know, on my car or on the jet ski. Um, you know, coming up later this month, I'm going to have another, another toy to be playing with. So um, I like it to be clean. And it, for me, it, it, makes, it makes a world of difference. But if you have any questions or, if, man, if you guys have any suggestions, uh, you know, I'm, I'd, I'd like to hear them. Uh, this has really been fun for me. It's something that I've wanted to do for a long time, and it was well worth what I went through uh, in order to find Garage Mahal. So, anyways, that's, that's it for Garage Mahal. This is not a Garage Mahal channel, but a lot of what I do um, has, has a lot of gear and, um, you know, be it my, my jet skiing videos or kayaking videos, all of that gear requires something in here. Uh, you know, the, the jet ski I needed to work on, you know, I needed to... to to do some maintenance things and repair some things. Couldn't do that without tools, right? Kayaking videos, gotta have somewhere to store the kayak. So it's not 
it's not completely off base. So anyways, it's all said and done. Uh, and I will catch you guys on the next video. Thanks.